The complexities of the human experience can be closely linked to the personal struggles individuals face between conforming to societal constructs and pursuing self-identity. Both Rosemary Dobson's poetry and Alice Munro's Princess Ida provide insight into struggles between societal pressures and personal passions pursued by individuals. In this, anomalies and paradoxes of human behaviour are explored to assert that personal struggle as a human experience creates a better opportunity to understand ourselves and the wider world. Dobson's poetry occasionally deviates from conventional form to emphasise the innate human behaviour of conforming to societal pressures. This is evident in Young Girl at a Window, which focuses on time, a societal construct which bounds the collective experience of youth. Her capitalisation of time reinforces the paradox of the depiction of transition from adolescence to adulthood, being portrayed as a murder on the young girl's life, rather than a progression to flourish as an individual. This is emphasised in Though Nobody Spoke and Nobody Will. The change in meter highlights her realisation that societal pressures restrict her in communicating her insecurities. This is furthered through the repetition of nobody, which anonymously projects societal constructs in the relevancy of society's ignorance of her change. Cock Crow also exemplifies the pressures of societal constructs through demonstrating the tension between the societally imposed maternal responsibilities and her desire to pursue her own passions. In Too Brief Illusion, the exclamation mark places emphasis on the illusion of freedom from maternal duties, presenting a paradox in which her discovery for her passion was supported by her initial uncertainties. This anomaly of human behaviour is reinforced in the sudden shift in metre as the persona rejects unsuccessful attempts of deviating from societal constructs, despite contemplating pursuing independence for extensive periods of time. This emphasises the uncertainties endured by a mother, as she anomalously attempts to deviate from societal constructs. Thus, Dobson's poetry challenges societal pressures by associating transition with an opportunity to develop new perspectives towards the world. Similarly, Princess Ida reveals the insecurities inherent in individuals when societal constructs create conflicts between duty and passion. This is evident when Dell's passion for knowledge is condemned by the stereotypical framing of intellectuality as a dull trait. In continuation to, and who could fail to love me, for knowing where Keto was, a new paragraph starts with, quite if you could. By separating the statements, Munro underlines the loss of gratification due to societal pressures, stressing how Dell's attempt to connect with the broader society has paradoxically caused greater mental insecurities. Also, the geographical reference to a city she has not visited reinforces the anomalous betrayal of her curiosities and sense of adventure, and an element essential to childhood. This accentuates the impact of societal constructs in removing an individual from understanding the wider world. Furthermore, through interactions with the wealthy materialistic man who eventually falls to cancer, Dell realises that in her rejection of knowledge, she has paradoxically learnt about key aspects of the human experience, namely death, ultimately pursuing her passion again. When she says, I had a fear of contamination, not of cancer, but of death itself, she metaphorically correlates societal pressures as an infectious and horrifying illness, detrimental to the mentality and progression of young individuals. By linking death with the conceitedness and lack of passion of the wealthy man, she anomalously emphasises the importance of passion in relation to a thriving and prosperous mentality. Therefore, Princess Ida exemplifies the paradoxes of human behaviour in that to overcome societal pressures, it is necessary to first adhere to them. In Dobson's poetry and Princess Ida, shared concepts explore the limitations created by societal pressures. However, through anomalies and paradoxes in human behaviour, it allows for configuration of personal experiences, thus overcoming the collective.